Hi guys and welcome to this week's bait demo on ASFN and uh, we thank you guys for watching the channel and subscribing that just helps us bringing you more information and more content on a weekly basis now this week I'm going to show you on a dangle how to tie uh, what we call a little rugby ball bait with a sardine this is not a dangle I won't be using for, for shad please note if there's shad in an area or you're looking at catching shad don't use a dingle dangle. A dingle dangle is when you're targeting pretty much everything else that will swallow the bait and at the same time swallow your hook which will be at the top of your dangle sitting like that. Your bait will hang underneath your hook so and that's aimed at a fish that will swallow the whole thing, gobble it up so your hook will be in its mouth as well. The shad will not, it will take a bite and it will take another bite. Alright, got a sardine here. Now first what you want to get done is the body of this and then we can build on to it. So I'm just going to cut the head off. I'm going to cut the tail to form that little body I'm talking about. If you've got a bigger dingle I'll actually use the sardine head to do it. These are referred to as cutlets. And nice to shape your bait. Build it up and shape it. It's a nice little mushy bait I'm making. You first get that done. Always if you want to make the body a bit bigger to one side, you'll do it to the bottom, away from the hook. Your little stomach piece it's got so much blood and stuff in. I want to put it on the inside. So that when this bait's in the water, it ciphers out bits by bits. Okay, at this stage, it's not neat at all. And then that's where the cutlets come in. You're going to start building this bait. You've got the backbone in there as well, which adds to the blood and all the flavor. As I mentioned before in some of the previous videos, the backbone's got a lot of blood in on a sardine so you want to use that to your advantage shaping that beforehand now what's nicer about dingles <laughs> which I don't think anyone really does but if you would want to you can sit and make this baits the night before at home chuck them if your freezer is big enough, chuck them either in a plastic bag or in your bait box in the freezer. Bit of a fin. And make yourself 10 or 5 or even a startup bait, just your first one. And you'll be shaping this with your hand all the time until you've got the shape you want. Little rugby ball bait on a dingle dangle. Your hook, a lot of blood, yeah, will go through the top. And your sinker will hook up there for the casting with your cast clip. And no cobble swim past this. This is a lovely Blu-ray or small skate bait. 
um, brown skates, anything like that will eat it. And uh, uh, rock cod, any of those fish that like these meaty baits will not swim past this bait. Nice little ball bait. And like I said, you use those cutlets over and over and you can build this nice and shape it the way you want. And thank you again for joining us this week. We thank you for your support. Make sure you subscribe to get all the notifications. And make sure you join us every week if you want to learn more about baits. And I hope these baits get your results out there.